Okay. Most treads will feed in without the need to use the feeder system, such as this tread right here. As you can see, you don't need to use it for all treads. Thicker treads sometimes are difficult to feed in. That's such as this one. In this case, stop the machine, back it out, restart the machine, place it on the ramp so there's about an inch or so space between the edge of the tread and the wheels. Hold it with one hand. Don't get your hands in front of the cutting disc. Hold it with one hand. And then as you pull up on the handle, feed the tread in. Okay. When the feeder is installed, make sure that this arm moves smoothly and rests on the star wheel. It needs to move the disc. It's the most important part of the feeder. It moves the discs. When you install the feeder, there needs to be a washer on either side. They're, they're difficult to get in, but they need to be there to keep this moving smoothly and to keep it, everything in line. You can use foot rest to steady the machine when you pull up on the level. 